Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, my name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you uh, a new amazing tutorial which uh, lots of you guys have asked me through email and this one it's um, it's a how to complete search bar that uh, will help you a lot in your searches so what this, uh, this tutorial is about uh, creating a search bar that as soon as you type it will show you a list of uh, uh, in this case I'm gonna use countries and cities and then as soon as you click on these cities uh, you're gonna have uh, the item showing right just right below it so I'm gonna show you the live example to give you an idea of what it looks like okay so this is my site which I just created okay this is a search bar and I added here some cities in uh, all around the world so for example I have uh, Paris let's see what happened when I start typing uh, Paris okay you see I have here this city showing okay now if I delete now I have two uh, cities in Italy which are Rome and Florence if I type Italy I will have Florence and Rome and here I also have the results found so see what happens when I click either on Florence or Rome let's click on Florence see I have here Florence showing and the search bar gets auto populated based on the value that was given from the drop down so if I delete it the repeater will be uh, will collapse and then again I can search let's say uh, I have uh, New York that's it even if I click on USA it will still get this item see what happens New York okay so let's find out how can we create this beautiful feature okay in my editor <coughs> sorry as you can see this is my editor and I'm gonna guide you uh, step by step on how you can create this and by the way I'm gonna paste the code so and uh, as well I'm gonna give you the link of, of this tutorial on the description so uh, you can find the website there okay first of all we need a search bar which we can find here in the menu in uh, inside input you can just add the text input I just added the first one then we add a repeater okay and this one uh, it was a repeater I'm gonna show you which one I selected um, if you go to list and grids you just go uh, down here okay this one you see the yellow one then I just grab it and delete the five elements so I just have I just work with one element anyway you can keep the five but just to make things clean you can uh, leave only one and then inside I have this uh, type this city and country and these two are connected to the uh, field in database my database it's here I call my database locations as you can see and then I'm gonna show you how I build this database just a moment <clears throat> okay you see I have title which I didn't put anything and then I have this column this uh, column called city and this column called country Okay, I just zoom it in a bit 
and then I have some images just to make it more beautiful okay so you see I have like Florence, Miami, Berlin, Paris, Rome, Dubai, London, Tokyo, and New York and their country here on the right okay now let's close here and then here I have also this uh, total result text which will tell me how many items we found and here I added a loading GIF and then here I have another loading GIF and here I have the repeater that shows the total results okay just to start you need to have this one two three elements this search bar this repeater for to show the results and this other repeater uh, to display what you have clicked here on the yellow one okay uh, very important thing this repeater must be collapsed a lot so if you see here This one is collapse or not. Okay, and I rename this repeater to repeater search. Okay. Then the search bar, I just label it search bar. As you can see here, the ID is search bar. The loading GIF is loading GIF. And the total result text, by the way, sorry, the loading GIF also is hidden on load. As you can see, it's hidden. Okay. And as well, the total results here, which I call total result text, is hidden on load. Okay. And then as well, this loading gif2 which is related to this repeater for the results it's hidden on load and this repeater for the results it's not hidden on load but is collapsed on load the reason why i choose collapse over hidden is because uh, they are pretty the same but the thing is when i use collapse I make sure also on mobile it works uh, in a better way so it doesn't so when I use collapse usually I get like uh, nice uh, nice uh, view on on the mobile without having so many like blank spaces you know okay so what I did then before showing you the code is this I added two data sets and this both this uh, both both uh, data sets are uh, both connected to the same database which is in this case locations okay but the first one this one is data set search is connected to this repeater which shows me the results given from this uh, search bar here the second one location results is connected to this repeater which is uh, again connected to the same uh, uh, location database and I'm gonna show you here I just connected the image this uh, text and this other text to their to their field so this image is connected through the image field as you can see here see connect data set this one is connected to the location re results which is this one okay so this one connects to the image and this text connects Sorry, connects to the country and this one connects to the city and the same here 
this text city connects to this data set here the location search connects to city and this country text connects to the country field which you can see here okay so basically these two repeater the yellow and the blue one here big they are both connected to the same database so you don't have to create more databases okay so now we can start showing you the code okay first thing you have to import the Wix data li library here on line one you can see you can just import this Wix data library then what you can do is to activate the on key press event for the for this uh, search bar here which you just have to click on it and then hand down here on the properties panel which now it's a bit different uh, Wix has changed it a bit the design but it's almost the same you can find here the on key press, press event you just click here and then press enter on your keyboard once you press enter you will have this event handler activated so you will have everything which you can see now from uh, line 9 more or less so then what you have to do you have to paste exactly what I have here okay this one when you activate the search bar on key press event you will have something like this empty okay inside this event you have just to paste this code okay so um, I will just go quick to show you why I put this data but anyway once you paste you will uh, study the code and uh, try it by yourself so what I did is, uh, as soon as some one uh, digits on the search bar, I want the repeated results, the one below this one, on the blue one, to reset the data. So that's why I put like square brackets. And then I want this repeater to collapse then what I do I set timeout which uh, uh, half second here you can see 500 it's it means half second and 1000 it means one second 1500 it means one second and a half but I'm okay with 500 and you need this timeout in because Usually the browser is not as fast as us when we type, so we need to give like half second to recognize what we are writing inside the search bar. So in this set timeout, I did something cool, which is this one. I added an if as statement, but in this way, I'm saying to the website that if the search bar value dot length is uh, equal or greater than two then do this why I did this because uh, the reason why I am telling the website that to start filtering once we have uh, two or more um, characters in the search bar is because we might have very huge databases so I don't want that as soon as the user starts ty typing 
we will have the result showing because this might cause slowing down the search a lot. So by um, by adding like uh, two or three or four, you will have less results depending on how big your database is. Okay, for example, I'm gonna show you live. Now it's set on two, which you can see here, which you can see here. So if I start typing one letter, let's say like uh, the letter of, let's type France. If I type F, nothing will happen. But see what happened when I put R. You see, it start filtering. Did you see the loading if? I'll show you again. Okay, so it's two or more. So if I type like another letter, it continues filtering. Okay, this is just something like you can keep it as one or zero, but for me, when you work with a lot of data, it's better to start the search with at least two or more uh, characters in the search bar. So now, for example, I'm gonna show you if I put uh, four, see what happens. I'm gonna publish. So we should get uh, F R A N before we get France. Let's refresh the page and check it out. Okay, let's let's try again. F R nothing. You see, before we were having the result no. A nothing again. And then as if we type N, that's it. You see, we have it now. So this is like a really cool function, which I strongly suggest you to try because it will help you a lot in uh, maximizing the speed of your site and, you know, and also to improve the user experience for your clients. Okay, then what I did here also, is after putting this, I want the loading GIF to show, which is this one on the right. Okay, you can see now. Okay. Um, and then I start to filtering the data set and I use, but just a moment, uh, the data set I'm talking about is this one, eh? the location search data set, the yellow one. So what I'm doing here, I am filtering the data set. So I said data set search, set filter, Wix data filter dot starts with city search bar value or I added an argument um, which if I don't find any city then try to search the country okay and then I added this function count which you might have seen already in my previous video so this function is just this one here which is just basically like uh, I'm counting the length of the repeater so if it finds some item then expand the, re re the repeater which is like if the total is greater than zero which means like if if, if it if it is at least one then show me the repeater expand and then update this text to whatever number which is the total here inside the dollar sign and brackets and uh, curly brackets result found else if I don't find anything just collapse the repeater and show me this text zero result found okay and then any hand 
show me the text and hide the loading if which is this one okay so I call this function just inside the if else statement here on the if only I had it here okay and then else if I don't find anything just I collapse the repeater I hide the loading if and I had the, the result text okay then we can move forward and now here's the interesting part so what you have to do now uh, you have to activate the on item already for the second repeater this one the repeater results so if you click here uh, ah sorry not this one sorry still the yellow one sorry yeah if you click on the yellow one you can see here I activated the on item ready event so once activated I'm gonna show you I'm gonna just make it a bit bigger okay you can see better like this now so inside this event you just need this piece of code from line from line 51 till, till line 90 okay so I'm gonna explain you what this code does so by calling the repeater uh, on item ready we are working with the single elements okay so for example I'm gonna show you. Um, I'll just make it this one glow smaller. Okay. We are working when we use the on item ready. We are working with one single element, which, which is like in this case, might it might be the first one, the second, or the third only. Okay. So. In this case, as you can see here, I have the I just uh, um, create a variable and I call this variable ID. So let ID equal to item data dot ID. So by calling item data dot ID, I am actually calling this I, this field in database, which I'm gonna show you now. So you click on uh, locations and then you search the ID field which usually is hidden you click on manage fields and then you see here ID now I'm gonna make it visible for you so the ID has the field key if you click on properties you will see the field key is underscore ID okay this is very important it's crucial so I'm just taking this underscore ID and I am basically re renaming to ID instead of writing item data dot underscore ID then what, what I do, I uh, I add an on-click event for the city text, which if you remember is this one. Remember I added the city text here and the country text. Okay. So I add an event handler, an on-click event for this to uh, text. Okay, you, which you can see here. So in this case, I I don't use dollar w, but I use dollar item because we are working, as I said, with one item per time. Okay. 
so I call dollar item city on click and then I do this inside you just have to paste this one okay just don't worry so this one just saying that it will show me the second lo loading if which is this one so when I click this one will appear and then I will reset the repeater results which is this one and then this here is very interesting I will just populate the search bar value with the text we have here in the yellow one for example as you can see here if I uh, type like Rome sorry now because I put uh, four letters okay let's try with the uh, uh, longer one uh, let's try with uh, London Okay, I put Lond, look what happens as soon as I click on London. You see the search bar gets populated, it gets the same name. And it's the same if I click on UK, I will have UK here. Right? So, if you want to do this, you have just to copy this line. So, search value search bar dot value it's equal to the item city text and then what I do in this um, this time I will filter the second data set which is a data set results so I just call the data set filter so w data set results set filter weeks data dot filter equal to to the id which is underscore id and id which is this one first we have, which we have declared here okay because in this way since they are they both come from the same database so the best way to retrieve the same item is just to grab the same ID which I have here on the on the yellow one. So if I click on this one, the, uh, on this ID of this city, sure, I will get the same city here on the blue because they have the same ID. So once I found the right element. So once the field, once the data set finds the ID, then I will just do this. I will uh, expand the repeater, which is one, the blue one. I will collapse instead the yellow repeater, which is this one. And I will hide the second loading GIF, which is this one. Okay. And then I will just call these three which is like repeater search the yellow the yellow one I will just reset the repeater search I will uh, hide again the loading if two and uh, I will also hide this total result text okay and the same is for the second text the country it's exactly the same as you can see here I just did the same for the country on click I just copy paste everything inside so the only thing I change is to change the value inside the search bar which this time is the country text and not the city text because now I'm working with the country item in repeater okay so that's here I forgot to add this to here just copy and paste okay now I will just uh, revert to two here and I will publish now 
that's it I will publish I will show you once again live refresh so I have Miami in Florida if I type Miami and I okay one result found I click on Miami I have Miami populated here on the search bar and I have Miami in the repeater then when I delete the repeater will uh, collapse I still have the results showing then if I click on USA I still have Miami and then let's try with Berlin I have Berlin here I click on Berlin and I have Berlin here okay so thank you so much guys please uh, like this video comment and subscribe to this, to this channel I'm looking forward to upload more video and you will find the link of this uh, site in the description and as well the the full code in the in the description as well okay thank you so much and I'll, i will see you soon bye bye